Joined now by K-State quarterback Avery Johnson, getting ready to go into your first full year as a starting quarterback at K-State. How different is that feeling for you, and how do you have to prepare differently, or is it all just kind of the same? Because I'll steal a line from your head coach, football is football. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a great quote right there. Football is football. It is a def definitely a different feel, um, but not a different approach. definitely feel like I have more eyes on me. Uh, a lot of people looking at me because I had to take a different leadership role this year. But as far as preparation, I mean, like, the work's, work is the work. I'm going to continue to work hard and then – just let the let the games just kind of come as, as is with everything that has gone on with how people have followed you from your recruitment to last year at k-state to going into this year do you feel like there's any pressure outside of just what would normally be there to hey i'm a football player i want to go win games is there anything elevated on you uh, i don't really look at things in the in the grand in the grand scope of things like that i feel like yeah there's pressure there's pressure in, in for any quarterback at any level. Um, pressure is a privilege. So, I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited to just get out there and go compete and, and put on for the city of Manhattan. Uh, so you're just a sophomore, and you're already at Big 12 Media Day. So what does that kind of mean to you being here? It means a lot because it shows that a lot of people – have a lot of trust and, and respect for me um, in our building, and that's really all that matters. All that outside noise and whatever everybody else has to say doesn't really matter much, but a lot of people um, in that in that facility um, definitely have a lot of big things to say about me, so it's just continuing to, to, to keep my head down, stay humble, and, and just work. Coach Walls has been at K-State now for about six months, so what? how has your relationship with him grown? It's grown a bunch. I love Coach Wells and um, everything he's about. He's, really down-to-earth person his, his office door is always open I can go in there whenever I need to and just being able to talk ball and kind of chop it up with him um, about stuff like that has been has been a lot of fun with the the changes of Matt Wells coming in Connor Riley going to OC and then also you're going to have some different weapons to throw the ball to this year uh, what has stood out to you about the way the offense may be different from last year versus this year I feel like it's going to be different but it's going to be similar in a lot of ways Obviously, like you said, like new OC, we have a co co coordinator, a lot of guys, a lot of different heads um, putting together that that play sheet. But I mean, we got added Dylan to the mix. DJ is like, DJ's DJ man. He doesn't get a lot of respect. Um, he's ready to put the the nation on notice this year. So I mean, we got a lot of new faces, a lot of great great talent, a lot of underrated talent at receiver. And then I'm really excited for this offensive line. Like. It's a new bunch, but it's not a young bunch. It's a lot of people that, that have played college football before, and we have great leadership um, at the offensive line position. So I'm, I'm excited to, to you know, let those guys get out there and do their thing. The offensive line, we talked to Hadley about that earlier, and it was, it was there may be a lack of in-game experience, but it doesn't mean that there's a lack of talent there, it would seem. Now, you also brought up DJ and Dylan back there. How exciting was it for you when D Dylan decided, hey, I'm coming to K-State with you guys, and what then has that been like? for you three to be in the backfield together i was so excited like when his name first hit that portal i gave him a call and i was like right we got to get you on campus this weekend we ended up getting him and and, and coach Kleiman just told me get it done this weekend so i i told him everything everything we were about and he bought into it and i think he's really i think he's really happy with the decision he made and we're going to be really, really explosive uh, when, when the fall rolls around. Hey, you brought up uh, the receivers, and the receiver room is a mix of young talent and some older experience. So who have been some of the younger receivers that have really caught your eye so far? I feel like aside from the guys that played a lot last year, it's Sterling Lockett had a really good spring, and Trace Bivey had a really good spring. Those guys, Sterling did a really good job um, in the slot this spring. And I feel like he's going to have a pretty good fall. And then Trey Spivey was showing up on a whole bunch of explosive plays. So yeah, I'm excited to see, see what those guys um, bring to the, to the team this, this season. Uh, what, what's something that you're really trying to prove this season and want to really imp uh, improve on and just something to prove? I feel like the only, the only thing um, – I feel like the thing I want to improve on is really just passing and showing people that I can pass. But I really have, um, I wouldn't say I have nothing to prove in a bad way, but like, like I said earlier, um, I really only listen to the, to the people in my circle and the people that are in the facility and what, what they have to say because the outside noise can get foggy sometimes. There's highs, there's lows, 
Um, so we're all about just staying neutral and, and focusing on, on the next week. We uh, have also asked every one of your teammates that gone, has got, come through here about the college football game that's coming out next week. We know that you guys kind of got to take a look at it. Uh, what was the first thing you did? Did you go and see what your rating was? Or when did you find out what your rating was in the game? So we can't see our rating yet. Uh, okay. Because if, if, if we saw our ratings and we leaked our ratings, then um, people lose jobs, I guess. Mm. So we just went in and played. And, I, I mean, I, I think I can tell you that the bill looked really realistic. Um, like, it was pretty much to a T. They got the – it's good for a wildcat first down. They got the cat, like, roar, everything. The jerseys, they got all our alternate jerseys, all stuff like that. Um, as far as, like, players looked, I mean, I couldn't – I feel like they looked – to a part I might have been a little buffer than I am in real life <laughs> I don't feel like I'm that buff I feel like I'm a little bit more slim of a guy but it was it was pretty but accurate. you thought height weight hair skin all that look yeah except for enough. hair I didn't have hair oh okay which is which EA will get a tweet I, about I was gonna say I think that they will probably fix that pretty quickly for you yeah uh, people were wondering because we we d- did hear that the white helmets might be in the game do you know which white helmet both okay there you go the so they have the one with the Academic Willie is that there? Is, what's the? Yeah, it's the yeah. academic yeah. looking Willie with the yeah. mm-hmm. flag, flag, the yeah. flag, and then the yeah. number on the side, and then they have the ones that say cats. Uh, which uniform did you use? I wore all white. Yeah. Uh, smart man. But I didn't. And then Mott wore white pants, purple jersey, and then they, he wore the academic Willie with the number. Yeah. But we didn't have like the the like camo white. But I, we don't, I don't yeah. know when the last time you wore those was. I think it was like twenty seventeen. I think was the last time yeah. that Casey wore those. Uh, so, another uh, fun question. So, what, what's your golf game like? We saw, we saw, we saw the pictures. I am a horrible golfer. <laughs> I need my clubs are short. I need new clubs. <laughs> um, I need to get fitted for clubs. I I don't have a I don't have a bad swing. Okay, I just don't keep my head on the ball sometimes, and my short game's improved. I just need to learn how to drive. I hit my irons pretty good. My short game's not very good, but it's not the worst thing you've ever seen. So, so I mean, is it? Do you enjoy golf? You want to play golf? Or yeah. What? Okay. It's fun. I still enjoy it because like you always have that hit that like brings you back. I've had days where I'm like, wow, like I golfed really good today, and then I have days where I'm like, wow, I might be the worst golfer in <laughs> the world. Uh, last thing that I'll ask you, and this kind of goes back into football real quick, but it's important to people. K-State's won 15 straight games against KU. It's obviously a big deal in-state. How is it kind of being that next quarterback that has to, I guess, shoulder the load of trying to continue that because that's a streak that people don't want to see go away? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we'll attack it like any other week. Right now, our focus is on UT Martin, but when KU rolls around, pretty, it's pretty sure it's going to be an electric game, a fun game, but yeah, we're going out there to win just like any other week. I've oh, got one more fun one for you, and it's something that uh, Mason and I have had discussions about before. So during the season, last season, up until the Pop-Tarts Bowl, the quarterbacks all wore the, the long sleeves on the shoulders. Pop-Tarts Bowl, you switched it up. Is Was there a reason for that? So when I was I, – I watched Adrian Martinez wear the long sleeves, and I was told the sleeves were going to be shorter than that. Like – Lamar Jackson, Kyler Murray, such. Just looser, but not like Peyton Manning loose. And then the jerseys came in, and we just kind of had a roll with it. But whenever I switched numbers and they had to like get the new jersey, I was like, don't put the long sleeves on it because I didn't like the way it looked. I thought it was an ugly look to it. But, yeah, I don't think I'll ever go back to that. Uh, I'm glad we got an answer to that question because I noticed that like week three last year, I was like, they're all wearing the long ones, and I wanted to ask it, and then there was never really a good time to do it or I'd forget, so I'm glad Drew remembered there because I all season I wore and then the Pop-Tarts bowl, you're out there, I was like, well, the sleeves aren't long anymore, so I can't ask about it now. Yeah, I didn't like, I didn't like the look. Okay, it, well, it wasn't me. I'm glad you've, uh, you got the look that you want, and uh, things seem to be falling in place for you guys, but best of luck this year and thanks for the time. Thank you.